I, um, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Dick George, along with my partner here, Dick Kelly. Uh, this is our third annual Corporal uh, John M. Dawson Memorial Fishing Trip. Uh, what I'd like to do is make two introductions. The first introduction is to my left, we have Mr. Joe Sorecchia, who is a, uh, uh, he's a, a lead captain for the Patriot Guard Riders. He'll do a little explanation as to what they do. And I'd like to also acknowledge the presence of the, uh, we have a contingent from Fort, uh, from, from Pease Air Force Base. Uh, we've got some pilots and crew here on the refueling detachment up there. They're, they're in red shirts and you'll be seeing them throughout the boat. And I'd like you to get uh, yourself to accompany with them and, and chat with them about what they do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call upon Joe Sarekia, who is the lead captain, and let him discuss with you about what they do. And he will also do an invocation uh, for John. Almighty Creator, today we come to you with the deepest gratitude in our hearts for all the gifts you gave us each day. Family, loved ones, good friends, laughter, our jobs. Help us always to receive these gifts with thanksgiving, and may our hearts be stirred to remember all of your mercies which we receive through your love towards us. Today, as we gather, we give recognition to the spirit that made our country great, a willingness to give total of ourselves, even unto death. For the great blessing of being a part of this country, we give you thanks. For the joy and beauty Corporal John Dawson brought to our lives, we also give you thanks. You lent him to us for a short time, and we were blessed by his presence. Today, as we gather to give recognition for all that he gave to us and his country, help us to be ever mindful of all that we still have. It is your strength that enables us to protect others. It is your providence that keeps us safe. Help us to turn our hearts towards you each and every day. Amen. 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 Um, Dick wanted me to talk to you a little bit about the Patriot Guard Riders, who we are, what we do. Um, our primary mission is to attend veterans' funerals, uh, any branch of service, any war. Um, uh, to be a Patriot Guard rider, uh, you, you just simply log on to our website, patriotguard.org, and uh, sign up. And uh, all we ask is that you honor the fallen veteran or soldier and um, support the grieving family and obey the instructions of the ride captain on the mission. Uh, just show up for the mission uh, and you participate. We usually hold flag lines. You don't have to be a veteran. You don't even have to own a motorcycle. So it's open to just about anyone that wants to participate. Um, we are a conglomerate of patriots. There are many motorcycle, different motorcycle groups and clubs that all come together when the call is made, especially when somebody is KIA. And uh, we could have anywhere from 50 to 500 uh, Patriot Guard riders at any one mission, depending on the circumstances and depending on the availability of the people. We are totally internet-based. We do not have dues. We do not have meetings. Uh, you just get all of your information through the internet, and it is your call to show up. Uh, there was no uh, mandate for anyone to show up. There were no calls to be made saying, I'm going to be there. You just follow the uh, mission and uh, show up if you choose. Um, there, it's difficult to describe who a Patriot Guard rider is. A lot of things have been written and said and documented and things of that nature. And I just want to re read something briefly uh, that is one of my favorites as far as how to describe a Patriot Guard rider. But before I do that, I just wanted to mention some of the groups that uh, attend our mission. We have the Fire and Iron. Uh, chapters of Massachusetts, they're firefighters. Uh, we have the Le Leathernecks, who are Marines. Uh, we have the American Infidels, who are usually uh, military or veterans. Um, the Marine Riders, the Enforcers, the Patriot Riders, which are not the Patriot Guard Riders, 
there was another group called the Patriot Riders. Uh, the Legion Riders, the American Legion Riders, the Blue Knights, Combat Vets, the Honorable Few, uh, the Marine Corps League, Rolling Thunder, and many, many others. And uh, when the call is made, we all just get together all at once. And I'm just going to briefly read something uh, that uh, may describe to you who the Patriot Guard, is, uh, Patriot Guard Riders are. And it goes like this. It says, why do they come? They don't even know him. Yet they stand for hours in the cold, in the heat, in the rain, in the snow. They never ask for a thing in return, but yet they receive so much. Many are veterans, many are not. Why do they care? They stand in silence. They stand with tears in their eyes. They stand for a fallen hero. They stand because they care. They stand in respect. They stand in honor. They stand because they must. They stand because it is their duty. Their duty to the fallen, their duty to their country, their duty to the grieving family, and their duty to themselves. They are the Patriot Guard Riders, and they will stand until some, someone stands for them. So I kind of like that one, and I think that says it all about the Patriot Guard Riders. Thank you very much. along with Dick George and help put together the trip. Um, as usual, fishing trip, we have prizes. We have a, a prize for first prize and a prize for most fish. So look forward to that. Uh, look forward to catching some fish. Uh, here's Dick again. <laughs> Hello, I'm uh, Mike Dawson. John was my son. Um, we lost John about a little over two years ago. And I think the um, most important thing for a parent is that your son is not forgotten. And I'm truly thankful for Dick and Dick for running this trip every year, the last two years. And, um, just, uh, I know everybody uh, remembers him out this day, and uh, thank you all for coming aboard today. Air Force, United States Navy. In honor of uh, John Dawson and all those that gave all. And I'm here with Dave. How you doing, David Nan? <laughs> and David, uh, you are uh, with uh, your active Coast. I mean, uh, uh, Air Force. Yep. <laughs> and you are stationed at Pease. Yep. The uh, the five of us here in the red shirts, we're all stationed up at Pease right now, and we're all currently active duty. Active duty. Yep. And what is it that you guys do some maintenance work on on uh, on uh, various uh, airplanes? Tell us about that. Yep, so we work on the uh, KC-135s, and the other guys were in the red shirts today, their support, so they make sure that everybody gets the funding they need, the support they need for the uh, the aircraft, and um, uh, I'm one of the pilots there, so I usually take the planes up and bring them back, and without those guys, uh, we couldn't get the mission done. So. And you are a graduate of the uh, academy, aren't you? Yes, sir. Graduated in 2009. 2009, so you've been in active duty now how long? Uh, since 2009, so I think I've got uh, about nine years in right now. Yeah, well, fantastic. So the fishing is pretty good so far, right? It's great. I've already I caught a couple of them. I know. You, I just saw you land a nice big one, huh? Yep. All right. David, thank you very much for talking with us. Thanks. You're welcome.
And I'm here with Giuseppe Sedecchia. Joe, how's my Italian? Italian's not bad. <laughs> Hanging in there. Hanging in there. And uh, Joe is with a group called? The Patriot Guard Riders. The Patriot Guard Riders, and you have several of them with you today. You, you came in down the causeway on your motorcycles, escorted by the local police. So tell us about the uh, Patriot Guard Riders uh, a little bit. Well, they're uh, exactly what they uh, say they are. They're uh, patriots, and uh, what we do is attend uh, uh, ve uh, funerals for veterans and fallen soldiers. And uh, the Cape Patriot Guard Riders usually consists of many different groups of riders around uh, the state and around the country. Uh, and uh, when the calling comes, they all come together to the uh, funerals of the fallen and pay their respects, honor the soldier, and uh, support the uh, grieving family. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you don't necessarily have to be a veteran or even own a motorcycle to be a part of the Patriot Guard Riders. That's correct. Yeah. Um, uh, what you should do is uh, log on to the uh, website, patriotguard.org, and uh, sign up. And at that point, uh, you'll be able to view missions, honor missions, and uh, all you have to do is attend. We do not have meetings. We do not pay dues. Uh, all of the uh, support of the Patriot Guard Riders is derived from donations. There is no one uh, in the national organization or the state organization that collects a salary. It is 100% volunteer, and all of the donations, 100% of the donations, go to the support of the Patriot Guard Riders. Yeah. And I understand that you have uh, some 300,000 uh, people uh, nationwide? Well, that's how many uh, are on the website mm -hmm. uh, that have signed up uh, over the years uh, and are on the website. Uh, in Massachusetts, we have about 1,200. Uh, you usually get the same uh, people attending most of the missions, but when the calling comes, uh, you'll see a lot more of them gathering together. We're a uh, totally internet-based organization. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, uh, send out the notices and uh, on the day of the mission, uh, then we'll find out who shows up. There's no commitment to be made uh, or calls to be made when the notices go up. All you have to do is show up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And give us that uh, website again, Joe. That's patriotguard.org. All right, Joe Giuseppe Sedecchia, thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you.
And I'm here with uh, impresario uh, Dick Kelly. <laughs> and Dick, this is what, how many years have we been doing this fishing trip now? I think this is the eighth or ninth year eighth that we've ninth. been doing it, yes. And you are with the 101st, uh, the Screaming Eagles, right? 101st Airborne Division That's Special that. Events Group in Massachusetts? That's correct. Did I, did I get that all right? Yep, perfect. <laughs> And uh, we're here, uh, and uh, so far today, there have been a lot of, a lot of fish caught. Uh, it's, yeah, that's it's a, great. It's that's a, really great. Yeah. I think uh, it took a, a t over two hours to get out here, but I think the captain knew where the good fishing was, right? Well, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and uh, so tell us a little bit about your involvement here with the, with the 101st and, and uh, organizing these fishing trips. Well, very simply is uh, we have some... Uh, very dedicated sponsors. It's like everything else, it takes money to do these kind of things and without money you couldn't do it. So that's the beginning of the whole thing and then it's just a matter of putting it together and uh, getting some folks together and, and uh, have, you know, have a trip. I mean, so. Yeah, it was, it was uh, raining this morning and we weren't sure whether the trip would come off or not, but it's uh, it's brightened up, the sky's brightened up, the clouds are kind of parted. Yeah, as you know, we got rained out about a month or so ago, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday rain, uh, June 5th, 6th, and 7th, and had to postpone till today. And today looked a little iffy at the beginning, but uh, they were saying we were going to have this window uh, three or four hours in the afternoon. So uh, I expect the front to come in uh, probably three or four o'clock, but we'll be on our way in at that point. So if it rains again, so be it. Well, it's good fishing today. Well, Dick, Dick Kelly, thank you very much for talking with us. You're welcome, Walter. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. And I'm here with our state representative, Beverly State Representative, Jerry Paracello. Walt, how's it going? It's going well. I know I've seen your, your burlap sack there. you got a few fish in there already. Got a couple of haddock. I'm psyched. Yeah. I was uh, ordered to bring home dinner, so I'm glad I don't have to go to Rowan's and buy the fish. There, there you go. So Lisa Lisa will be proud of you today, right? She'll be happy that I've actually uh, <laughs> yeah. caught something. Yeah. Now, you, you've uh, this is about, what, your third uh, fishing trip you've been on this summer? Uh, second one. Yeah, we were doing with a veterans group earlier in the summer as well yeah and this one of course is, is sponsored by the 101st airborne yeah those are great guys I really appreciate that they're uh, taking out veterans to do some fishing uh, it's been a great opportunity to meet fellow veterans and uh, build up camaraderie and I uh, really appreciate it yeah well Jerry I'll let you get that bait on your hook there and get your get your line in the right. water and catch some more fish thank All you right. Jerry thank you nice to see you and I'm here with Charlie Treffrey and Charlie where are you from Peabody from Peabody. And how did you hear about the fishing trip? Um, I went to uh, a meeting in Beverly, which, well, Beverly's my hometown, and uh, they told me about it, and uh, here I am, and I'm glad I came. Yeah, I, I know wonderful. why you're, <laughs> I know why you're glad you came, because you, like, caught the first one. time. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we were just talking about how, one, with the yeah. luck that Charlie's been having, the first time you pulled your lineup, you had two fish on the line. Right, yeah, they were two nice haddock. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And since then, you've caught how many more? Oh, geez, I must have eight or nine more by now. Yeah, and I know Dick Kelly over there has got a big, uh, what, $100 bill for the most fish? Really? Most fish, so you could oh, be winning that hundred. Dollars. Yeah, okay, Charlie. So you got something up there that you're pulling up. Well, yeah. well, we won't bother you while you're yanking this big one up. So thanks okay. for talking with us, Charlie. Thank you very much. Okay. Nice to talk to you. And so I'm here with our state rep, Beverly <laughs> State Rep Jerry Paracella. And Jerry, you just caught a very big fish, a cod, isn't it? Oh, this is great. Yeah, nice big cod. Unfortunately, we're not allowed unfortunately, to you're not. <laughs> unfortunately, you got to throw him back in. So why don't we watch the ceremony as All you right. legally throw him back in? As you, as you may know, there is a cod at the state house, the sacred cod. Yes. So uh, this baby is going back uh, to a finer place than uh, in my kitchen. <laughs> Goodbye, All right. Oh, Jerry, in a belly. No, it's good. There he is. He's, he's heading down. He's heading down. Is he okay? I confused and dazed him a little bit, but he'll be all right. No! Well, Dick, Kelly, this is uh, fishing trip, what, number nine? Yeah, fishing trip number nine. We'll see you. See hey, you next Dick. year. <laughs> see you next year. Thank yeah, uh, yeah this is, we're finishing up. Uh, very successful trip. Caught a lot of fish. Um, 
A lot of people are happy. You can see they're smiling and tired. And we beat the weather. The yeah. weather was started out raining and turned out to be a fabulous day. Yeah. It was flat and uh, lots of fish, and uh, it yeah. was enjoyed by all. Yeah, I've, I've been coming to these uh, ever since the first one you had, and I think this is like the the most fish that's ever been caught. I mean, everybody they were catching fish left and right. Uh, even the captain said that there's you know several hundred pounds of fish that they yeah. caught haddock yeah. haddock. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so it's all cleaned and filleted and ready to eat. Well, and I think the the veterans all owe you a, a big debt of gratitude, you and uh, Dick George, for doing this year after year for the 101st Airborne Special Events Group of Massachusetts. Well, we're happy to do that. <laughs> happy to do that. Uh, we enjoy doing it. It's it's a lot of work, but it's fun in the end. Yeah. Well, Dick Kelly, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you again. We'll see you next year, right? Absolutely.